Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I am back for another video in Cerna Gora today. And just before we start, if you can kind of hear a bit of a background noise, it's uh, it's not my bad microphone, it's actually my aircon going uh, because it's quite hot here, so uh, I need it to be cool, obviously. Um, so this video was kind of annoying to do because what happened was, so the video is already filmed, it was about 30 minutes long, and then I got to the end and I realized I never pressed the record the microphone button. So um, <laughs> I have to do a voiceover for this whole thing. And so you'll see me pointing at things uh, in the visual like I am now, but I don't really know what I'm talking about. So we're kind of, you just kind of have to like deal with it, I guess. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'll try to talk over where I can, but most of the time I can't really remember what I was talking about in that exact moment. Because when I do voiceovers, I kind of do plan. So anyway, um, yeah, so sorry about that. It's kind of my fault, but anyway, it is what it is. And so here there was some big traffic issues. Well, not really big, but I was just kind of playing around with these, the stop signs, the giveaway signs. I don't know what you guys call them in other countries. Um, yeah, anyway, we call them giveaway signs here. And I think this part here, I was saying that if I were to remove the train track, this would make a nice park area, but I probably can't remove it in this area because of the elevation and the proximity to the train station. So, uh, yeah. And you may notice that some of the, that what's it called, the cement mod is actually missing. I think that's just because of uh, the new DLC. So uh, that'll be back soon. I just got to, I guess, reinstall that mod, more up-to-date mod, I suppose. So, yeah. And I think here I wanted to put in the recycling plant. Yeah, I did. So I wanted to break away from the traditional incineration plant and just try this type of uh, recycling. And I think it has the same uh, amounts of rubbish you can take as the incinerator as well. So yeah. And I guess I guess in this part here I was kind of like, should I extend? Um, yeah, I, I don't really remember what I was talking about anyway. But um, so. I think what I wanted to do, <laughs> uh, this probably sounds so bad, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. What I was planning on doing here, since there's all the sewage going into the river, so I actually decided to choose to build the eco water outlet right there. So this whole area, I think what I'm planning on doing is making it more uh, industrial, maybe offices as well. And so in the future, there's obviously going to be some some harbors so all the cruise ships or the cruise ship terminals uh, yeah just quite an industrial area in that area so I wanted to move the current sewage pipe away from the downtown area just because it doesn't look really it doesn't really fit in with that area of course and of course it's making the water yuck so so yeah I decided to move that away and yeah it already looks a lot better without it so and now I think in this area I decided that it's time, since I got rid of the, the sewage thing, I wanted to make this more of just a place. Because right now it's kind of just a bank up against a road between uh, the water and the road. So I decided to put in the pathway, put in some trees, so I just dragged it over a little bit like that, move it mod. Yeah, so uh, straight away, as soon as I started building this, people started using this. So clearly it was something that they really wanted in this area. And once it's finished, it actually just creates a more inviting area because without it, it kind of just looked a bit uh, under-maintained, a little bit wild. And yeah, so I just put in some of those new trees that we got in the DLC. And yeah, it looks pretty good overall, I think.
Okay, so you can see that I'm starting to delete the highway. Uh, that's because I wanted to make a, I think it's called a cloverleaf inter interchange from the highway to get from either side. Yeah, that, that guy there. So um, that'll be obviously the main exit and entrance from the highway in this area. But you'll actually see in the future, I didn't want this to be the only uh, road to get from one side to the other. So from left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. So I actually put in another two roads that go underneath or over the highway there. Uh, the reason being is, so we have the, the highway road which goes over the highway and then we have another road which will be mainly used for residential type cars or commercial cars and then there's another one kind of just up a little bit which will be mainly used for the industrial space so I didn't want just one because one road going from either side because that would just create too much stress on that one bit of road so it's it's good to have more connections but definitely don't I mean don't overdo it with too many connections but um, yeah so in this case I think three is definitely more than enough and yeah just finish connecting that up and continue on with the construction So as I was mentioning just a couple of minutes ago, I wanted to add in different connections from either side. So this is going to be the more residential commercial road that I was talking about. Uh, so that just goes simply straight underneath, nice little curve there. I mean, the connection there isn't really great, but I'll disguise that in later. And yeah, so I wanted that to be the main road. And then to get to the roundabout, you kind of have to break off from the main road. So um, hopefully that doesn't create too many traf traffic issues in the future. but. If it does, that's fine, we can deal with that. And then we still have a huge amount of uh, factory and office demand, if we look down the bottom, and kind of a little bit of uh, commercial demand as well. So, uh, from this point on, I decide to mainly focus on the industry for the rest of the episode so I want to expand the industry and so that road there is the road that actually goes over the highway there which will be the industry road bridge whatever you want to call it what I was mentioning before so there we go get go straight over and then you'll see in a minute I actually add one little slip lane that goes off the highway onto this road that's just for some quick easy access if they want to get into the industrial area without having to go down to the main clover uh, area and then go through the roundabout etc etc so they can go to that little area which is just a great little break off from the highway and then so right here just to make it more connected I decide to put quick little um, bridge from either side going over the highway just like that and yeah so um, I think in the future I'll the only other bridges I'll add in this area will be for uh, pedestrian bridges or cycling bridges but other than that I don't think I'll add any more because it would be just a bit too excessive and yeah so just connecting up those final bits So this part here, uh, 
this part is probably more of a long term uh, idea. So I wanted to connect uh, the residential area to the office or industrial area, whatever you'd like to call it, through the use of the other uh, pathways here. So I had a little bit of trouble trying to connect it across. I wasn't really sure where I wanted it to go. So it took a little while to fiddle around with it to get it how I wanted. But in the future, uh, when there's a lot more traffic, I think this type of pathway that diverts over these main roads and has easy connection from the residential to the office or industry area it's going to be so beneficial just because a lot of people won't need to drive at all they can just easily walk and of course that's going to uh, create a better lifestyle a healthier lifestyle and yeah so you can see I was having a little bit of trouble there but eventually I just got sick of it and just dragged it over using the move it mod and created a bit of an ugly angle there but uh, it'll do for now So as you can see, I just decided to take it straight over the roundabout. So it just completely bypasses that whole area. They don't have to interact with it at all. They don't have to wait for pedestrian crossings or the traffic lights or anything like that, which is why it's such a good idea to always incorporate these type of designs into your city, just because it creates a lot more connective, um, connectability, is that a word? Connectivity, something like that, walkability, walkability, etc., etc. And yeah, I just take it over the little slip road there. So that's again a slip road like the other one as well. So it's just creating quick, easy access off the highway into the in industrial spaces. I noticed there was a lot of traffic build up in this area so uh, I wasn't really sure what's going on I mean I guess it's related to that stop sign right there but I mean what else can I do we need the stop sign there because otherwise they're just gonna go straight out onto the main roundabout and disrupt all the traffic on the roundabout which is not how it really happens in real life so we just have to wait and see maybe there's just one like a one-time build up of traffic I'm sure you guys know what I mean um, like suddenly there's just a huge amount of traffic just because we've built something so it could be related related to all of these new industrial areas in there so there's still quite a large amount of demand for industry so uh, yeah and I I realized that I completely neglected this area and needed more sewage type facilities so
Okay, so hopefully this new industrial estate will actually help with the overall uh, demand for office space or industry space, whatever you'd like to call it. Hopefully, uh, I think it's starting to lower down just a tiny little bit. Oops, we need some water. Um, I don't really like to do one huge in industrial park like this, but I just kind of wanted to try a different type of style because usually I always say to you guys that you shouldn't do one major industrial park, you should try to split it up a little bit. So we'll see how this turns out in the future, it's probably going to create a lot of traffic issues but you guys can get to see how I can deal with that easily. And for this area here there's that kind of green space and I think I was saying to you guys what should I put in this area because it's such an awkward little space and if you, if I just go back to it, oh my god there we go. Yeah, so make a suggestion what I should put there. I'm not sure what I should do. Um, let me know. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Sorry that the recording didn't work, first of all. And sorry I'm doing this awkward voiceover. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.